when we were putting together the anthrozoology textbook, um, it was very much front of mind that we wanted it to be easily accessible. And so it's actually quite a concise book and covers quite a range of topics in a degree of depth which belies the fact that most of the chapters are highly readable and about 20 pages long. And so in terms of its, um, hopefully, how much it might be accepted and, and um, a good book for, for quite a lot of students and professionals who, who are working within industry, it's hopefully the type of thing that can be picked up and you can read it without the, the, the onerous task of too many citations, but there are citations so you know that what you're reading is embedded in, in evidence. The, in actual fact, it's sufficiently conversational that it doesn't feel that you've got some giant textbook. I know that we both find the field of anthrozoology very interesting and exciting, and as editors, something we were very keen to try and um, encourage of our um, authors and, and also of the chapters that, that we wrote was that they are easily accessible and conversational and they're contemporary and so if students are doing work um, in that I, I know that certainly within the UK we have courses in human animal interactions in anthrozoology there are a few other courses which um, they might be context specific, but certainly there are chapters which would be applicable. So in terms of zoo conservation biology or whether people were doing agriculture, because anthrozoology actually covers a lot of those different disciplines, just because your entire degree or master's program or, or, or PhD is not focused purely and simply on human animal in interactions, doesn't mean it wouldn't be applicable to you because certainly one of the chapters will be. If, you, if you're doing anything to do with animals, one of these chapters is going to be applicable to you.